Here we go guys, it is truly time because there has been so much happening. Listen very carefully. While the cost of Halloween candy has surged more than 13.1% since last September, the Mars candy bar family became 44% richer during the that thing, increasing their wealth by $32.6 billion. Wait, what? The Mars family is now worth $106.8 billion, guys. You know what's scary? Corporate greed. It's fascinating, right? It's fascinating that it's crazy because everyone, all these wealthy people, take advantage of every crisis that hits, guys. It doesn't even matter what, what's happening, right? Now, the higher, higher ups, right? We're talking about the people, the they, they don't care about, they don't care about the money. Why? Because they could literally just print, they have been printing money, right? So money doesn't matter to them. So what matters, guys? What? Centralization and something beyond that, right? Very fascinating. So we know we are at the verge of what? The collapse taking place, right? Soon. It has to be soon, guys. Or will it delay, or will they delay it if, uh, till a few years from now, right? Maybe till then? Who knows? Listen to this. Word hitting that the Federal Reserve will do another 75 uh, points basis hike as we see right here basis point hike in november then pivot dollar starts to fall off highs fed maybe just got the message of how close the world was to financial collapse guys we stated this literally so long ago and now people are saying the same thing wait a minute what how can we be so far ahead of everyone else right it's because all we have to do is just play chess guys right become be on the same level playing field as the they, right? As the quote unquote elites. It's so simple. We stated before that if they keep raising this in the interest rates, something will definitely break. Judy Shelton stated the same thing, guys. So they need to pivot, right? They need to start cutting rates. Listen very carefully, guys, because guys, I'm pretty sure what they're going to do is just delay it. They need it, they need it, they need to delay it so bad and so hard, guys. You know why? So people can suffer as hard, as much as possible. So then when the problem hits, they cry and cry and cry and beg and plead for what the solution. And don't worry, <laughs> they got the solution, guys. Don't worry, they got the solution, right? Oh, and by the way, don't worry, the financial collapse is the finale, right? Or, or the not only that, but the system collapse, right? A systemic collapse of everything. That's the, all paths lead to that road, guys. Or all all roads lead to that same conclusion, right? Curious what you consider a, a pivot. Am I thinking they'll slow down the rates hike or just pause? Lots of people think pivot means they'll reduce rates, right? I don't think they're gonna do that anytime soon. But wait, we'll, we will talk about it, guys, in just a minute. Pivot means doesn't pivot doesn't mean they start dropping rates. Just means they raise less or none, huh? So listen to this, guys. Current market expectations for path of federal funds rates. So listen to this. November is a is possibly going to be a 75 basis point hike, right? Two, 3.75 to 4 percent, right? December 50 basis point hike possibly, and then February 2023 25, right? So it gets less and less and less. Remember, then they're going to then they're supposedly going to pause, and then rate cut starts in December 2023, continues in 2024. Here we go, guys. So this is about to get crazy, okay? Oh my. We, are, we, we, we we definitely cracked the code, guys. It's actually hilarious. We know the reset takes place in autumn, week 44, right? But which year will it be? Which year will it be? Possibly in the year 2024, autumn to 2025, right? I, I know a lot of people hates when I, well, hate when I say that, guys. But listen to this, okay? So what's going to take place, I believe, is this. As we see, they're going to stop uh, raising these interest rates soon, right? And possibly they're going to pivot. I'm pretty sure they're going to rate cut or start cutting rates when? Sooner than this, what they're suggesting, right? A lot sooner because they usually say one thing, the opposite takes place, guys. Um, One more thing, that while this is all happening, right? Everything should start exploding up, guys. A fi The finale, right? The finale, the final leg up shall take place, right? Shall commence, go up and never stop. And this is how XRP goes up and never stops, guys. Literally, right? Um... Perhaps this is truly the last train event, right? The train has left the station. What do you believe will take place, right? Expectations. A lot of people are thinking a lot of different things, but usually they say one thing, the opposite takes place, right? Maybe they start cutting rates soon. If they keep raising, look, look, look what's going to take place, right? A disaster awaiting. No matter what, they will collapse it, guys. 
A stock market crash isn't the end of the world. A bond market crash is when you have $300 trillion in debt. Never in an extreme drawdown for stocks have treasuries gone down more than stocks. If, if this doesn't end, it's the end. Which is why a melt up in stocks is likely. Exactly. If they're going to make we the people suffer more what they're going to do is make everything go up again right while inflation is skyrocketing everything's going up and up and up until the finale until the house of cars finally implodes and collapses on itself guys we're not making any of this stuff up right we're literally so far ahead of everyone else guys we talked about this literally months and months and months ago how is that possible right all we need to do is look ahead watch out for the traps and whatnot from tony valentino we are at the ouroboros phase the reason you're seeing the global economy plunge and crisis emerge is because their project, which began in 2009, is completed and ready to uh, roll out. They have to burn down the old unveiled to unveil the new. This is all a show, wars, etc., designed to destroy. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is not the real Tony Valentino, guys. But what we do know is what, or maybe it may be. I'm not quite sure, guys. But what we do know is that they're just they're just throwing crisis after crisis, right, to keep to prop up everything until the finale until i wonder i truly do wonder what the big the finale moment will be what will happen at that time guys right i do know riots what we see multitude multiple guys well whatever we're seeing today imagine that but a lot worse right it's not even a laughing matter because it's just going to be a crazy time it's, it's literally a roller coaster guys for the next few years prepare right prepare from Sugarcoat, I have a feeling XRP holders are going to get rich around the same time everything else goes to goes down, right? Goes to S. It's going to be bittersweet. Exactly. Kind of kind of like the big shorts, right? Excitement and grief taking place at the same time. We ready? Yes, we are. Now, another tweet from Tony Valentino. The XRP journey is confirmed to begin in Asia. Western powers such as the US, IMF, uh, World Bank, etc. are allowing it so they can pretend they played no major role in XRP becoming digital gold. 50 billion plus to minus XRP in escrow will start to go to the IMF eventually to re-liquify the system. Liquidity needed, Chris Larson stated. You know how you know? Do you guys know? Do you guys want to know how to know which which will be the true winner in the long term? Liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. It's so simple. How don't people see? Again, it needs to, there needs to be a disaster taking place first. Global financial collapse, everything freezes up. Event, Ice 9, right? Oh, wow. We've seen that before from the Riddler's point of view. XRP will be repriced at uh, four digits while global exchanges halt. No buys, no sells. And IMF, BIS, World Bank, rush to save us. Reliquify the global economy. Event, Icebreaker. You know what, guys? You know what? That cyber attack interesting ice nine it all connects guys when it th when it takes place right when it takes place oh my oh my when it when it truly takes place guys it's all going to happen at the same time cyber attacks even possibly even nuke scares right everything guys blackouts and everything all at the exact same time do we know how much panic will be out on the streets ice nine plans to freeze ice nine is intended to buy time and restore and restore calm down while elites work on plans to reliquify the system. Interesting. Oh my guys, I'm actually mind blown. What is happening from XRP Productions? It's all ready. Everything is in place. The way the wheels are greased. The oven is preheated, right? The blueprint has already been printed, guys. The, you have been warned, guys. They have it all ready, right? To press it down and push the button and play the new game. Here we go from Rose XRP. Bitcoin is not the future. You have been warned many times. Do not become a fool, but maybe it is good to be a fool, guys, because in this world, as we see today, if, if, if you say something outrageous, people will think you have gone psychotic. Biden administration is looking at regulating uh, cryptocurrencies, and it looks like it's happening um, faster than many people thought. Um, I know speaking with you, you've said they will not want a competing currency and they'll do everything to stop Bitcoin. I've spoken to other experts wait they will do everything to stop bitcoin wait what it's on the flip side who will say the u.s will not want to be last in this race if bitcoin is the future they're they're not going to want to ban it they're going to want to be ahead of it i want to zone whoa what will be their card oh we talked about this so many times guys they have the last card to play right this is oh my we talked about how there's a literal race china versus the united states United States doesn't seem like it's doing anything right now, but China's very ahead. But remember, when they play that last card on the playing field, what, what takes place? Uh, 
America, United States, leapfrogs ahead and takes number one place, number one spot. Well, like really get your thoughts here. Yeah, I think you have to separate what the U.S. really wants is to be ahead of the game on blockchain, not Bitcoin particular or some quote unquote blockchain. Listen, look. Oh, I'm trying, I want to scream so bad. ...form of digital system that they can eventually take over, and that's, you know, they're, they're going to create their own central bank digital currency like everybody else in the world, and they're not going to want competition. CBDCs. I see Bitcoin as an anti-sovereign fiat play. And if I'm right about a monetary reset where everybody's going to something else that incorporates digital currencies in that whatever they create... He basically just said there needs to be a reset in order for them to roll out this new system, right? Wherever they're going to create digital currencies and whatnot. The last thing they're going to want is the competition from Bitcoin. And I have, a, as I said a year and a half ago yeah. during our debate with Michael Saylor, e eventually they will want to take Bitcoin out. I think there's too much risk there. And I want to get back. Eventually they want to take Bitcoin out? Oh my, such a beautiful video, guys. Oh, what is happening? I just can't believe it. Look at this right here. Many don't know this, but the original Bitcoin code has an unfinished poker game built in it, right? You're literally gambling, guys. Not financial advice. It's in the code. It tells you everything you need to know about Satoshi's big dreams for Bitcoin. It's, it is a gambler's dream. Wow. This is why, prepare, guys. Do not be fooled, right? Do not play into their hands. I just can't believe my eyes. Like, we're actually right. Like, people thought we were crazy. We might be, right? The only way to get things right is it's possibly to be crazy at this point in time, right? Not financial advice, guys. Not financial advice and not financial advice. Just be prepared at the end of the day. But anyways, that's all for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. Basically, yes. See ya.